Tumad. Good night, girl. I'll see you tomorrow. So Tumet finally had a response to the allegations and the situation that was going on on Twitter two months ago. I had made videos talking about the situation, but I'm not going to make you guys go back and watch them. I'm not going to be cringe and try and pander for views. I'm just going to tell you guys what happened. So we're get ready, buckle in. I'm going to give you a quick overview, and then we're going to dig into the Tumad response, because this is a doozy. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I know exactly where you are at this very moment, and this thing is loaded? It is, look at it. YouTube, this is a joke. I do not know anyone's location. It's a joke for the bit. Anyway, still subscribe though. Eee. There it is. See it? Anyway, go watch my video. <laughs> I was gonna edit in some like Mario 3, 2, 1, go, like at the beginning of a race, but I actually don't want Nintendo to level my house with an ICBM, so instead we're just gonna jump straight into it. See, a while ago, Tumad had a situation where someone called him out for not touching grass and not going outside very often, to which he responded with an image saying, no bro, look, this is my girlfriend. This is the tweet. He used an image of Brianna Gay, a trans woman who had died to a hate crime earlier this year on February 11th, which is my birthday, which is really unfortunate. But he posted this image as a response and people were genuinely angry about it. And to which he responded with, how am I going to get canceled for see photo of girl? I think sexy because leisurely scrolling on couch Twitter, save because sexy, no idea of death context. Someone calls me no life. So I respond with, here's my girlfriend. I found out she died, get canceled, even though I didn't know. And of course, that is the opening to what could have been the end of this. He could have then said, I'm sorry. He could have genuinely said he didn't know. And of course, Tumad being a shitter, he's going to make mistakes and eventually people would forgive him, right? But that is the exact opposite of what Tumad did. He immediately started absolutely going berserk on Twitter. And this is where my videos come in for context. I get to use myself as my own little news source. But uh, he initially posted all these. You can pause and read these real quick where he's like, oh, I'm gonna get canceled for this. I didn't know. And of course, you don't need to write this in three different tweets. And then there was the whole thing where he started spamming with the Dr. Han, I am a surgeon tweet as a response to anyone, anytime anyone said anything rude to him, which I mean, whatever. I thought that was kind of funny, but it didn't, it just kept going. And of course, I, he actually originally came out with an apology ish thing that said, I'm literally driving, but oh, I'm in Oregon. Uh, so apologies. So I can't take the damage I've done, but I'll try my best. Okay. He's speaking like he's like talking to a voice to text spot, but is also like on crack. Like, I don't understand what I'm trying to hear. And of course, Evan from the past thought this was a good thing. He heard this and thought, maybe, maybe we've made progress with Too Mad. He did tweet also on my almost no Wi-Fi. I saw he tweeted that if any YouTube YouTubers would help him in his darkest hour, he would forgive. He would um give them Robux or something. So maybe someone came to him and told him how to apologize. And if that's the and uh, I was wrong. I was wrong because actually every single YouTuber that he was friends with started unfollowing him because they all thought he was extremely unhinged and not good to be around. To which he was actually going and DMing those YouTubers each time they unfollowed him and asking them why and calling them a pussy. Which is just not a good call. Now, that is the end of that drama because it actually gets a lot worse. See, another Twitter user, Goldie Bell, came forward and said that this is actually exactly how Too Mad is. And this is exactly how he's always been. Apparently, he used to talk about people who died due to hate crimes in very joking manner. And also, just would actually just stalk and abuse people that were close to him in his life. Goldie Bell included. Apparently, there was a lot of things regarding allegations of him possibly assaulting her. And she came forward about it. And in response, he just kept talking about how there's no... No proof and no one will care and it was just actually terrible it was so uncomfortable to watch go online he tweeted this thing also was like oh i also have a video right after the assault of us talking so you can let me know if she sounds like she's just been this is not the way you defend yourself i don't really know what's going on with him or what he's on but he's defending himself in all the ways that make him look even worse like he's he's failing every single skill check it's like in, in a game where you can decide what you could say next his charisma stat is negative seven like i don't understand what why he's making these calls. And of course, James Key came forward and said that he would help pay for the legal battle between her and Tumad, to which he said, yo, why? But Tumad, if you're innocent, why does it matter? If you're innocent, wouldn't it mean that it doesn't matter at all and you're going to be fine and win the legal battle? Why are you having a problem? And of course, Oompaville came forward recently with a video kind of talking about the entire situation way better than I did. So if you want to watch that, I will link it in my description. But it is a really, really good video in depth, breaking down everything that happened with a lot of screenshots and receipts that I wasn't able to supply because this is just the beginning. I need to get into the actual response that he released just yesterday. And one more thing before we get into his response, I just want to clarify something. He he has not stopped. He's been tweeting nonstop, and actually, during the event, back when I was on vacation, so I had very sparing Wi-Fi, so I'd only log in occasionally, he would tweet around 70 times a day. It would be every four minutes. He wouldn't stop, and it was insane. Like, I'm talking about into the night, throughout the night, he didn't sleep, 
And so, of course, his responses became more and more gibberish as time went on. He started changing his profile, so it was named Joji and offline. He started acting like this is the end and getting all depressed. He, he went through every phase of grief without apologizing or acting like he had any remorse at all for the event. And just yesterday, he uploaded a response on his channel, but the thing is, it's not even a response to the situation, the allegations, or the posting of Brianna Gay. It is just a response to Oompaville's video, which feels so stale. It feels so wrong. And, and if you go on, he doesn't even spell it correctly. It's called the respond. And I sat through and watched the entire thing, but it, it literally is just like, listen, I'm gonna give you like a snippet. We'll, I'll skip around a little bit, but like- Building a real baby PT This is Oompaville's video. Oh, you love me. You love me for who I am. He, he, this is the whole video, by the way. He's watching the video. You can even see the YouTube pauses, and he's just watching the video. Here's another good snippet. If I'm gonna get canceled for C photo of girl, I think sexy. I read this. Get canceled. I read this. Or like BLM, BLM, but they have no idea who actually died. You know? Yeah. They're like BLM. I have a lot of sympathy for BLM, but like at the same time, it's like it's his funny to make the internet angry. Surely you understand that it's just trolling. That's the word trolling. You never did a little patrolling? He's- he's rationalizing the incident in all of the worst ways. As I said, the charisma stat is abysmal. It is actually- I'm like, I'm watching it get lower. I think this is also so funny in the video, this clip right here where he goes, Insecure with his balding hair. I'm not balding, I grew up chip, you see now? I'm not insecure. Her face looks nothing I'm, like it does without- I'm, Look at her! Her br pictures are completely deceptive. It would never- she would never be able to like do like an actual like OnlyFans or whatever the fuck without just a ton of makeup. This is the heaviest projecting I've ever seen in my life. This is crazy. There should be a psychoanalyst- an analysis on this guy. Sorry, I can't pronounce things, but that doesn't change how bad this is. Also, bro, art student, you're fucked. <laughs> he's so unlikable. He's so unlikable and it sucks so much because I used to like his videos, which I guess I'm self-reporting there, but I did. I used to I used to find his videos kind of funny. And seeing him do this now is kind of sad. Bro, there's no way he just said started <sighs> and she's 20 soon, so there's <laughs> nah. too old. There's even a clip where he makes sort of a valid point, but then immediately invalidates it, which makes me so angry. Like listen to this. It's not really canceling. You're not you're not canceling me. You can't cancel me. It's not possible. Like, I would have to do something very heinous, which I've never done or would do. Although it's being alligated, it's never happened. And the thing is, yeah, it is being alligated. And if there's proof that he hasn't, or if there's a story to confirm that he hasn't, say it! Say something! We don't want to hate you. I mean, some people do, but like, a lot of people don't want to hate too mad, but so many people have unfollowed him because he's just become so annoying. He's become so annoying about a situation where he could have solved it by just being, like, not a spaz for four seconds. He could sit down, explain his side, or something, and it wouldn't be a problem. But the thing is, all he does is essentially just vilify himself by keeping on pushing so hard that he didn't do anything wrong. This is the worst. It's like watching a train wreck if the train wreck was filled with dynamite and also children. Like, oh my god. And Oompaville brings up cancel culture and how cancel culture can sometimes be inaccurate, which is valid. And Too Mad makes a response saying stuff like, The thing, the problem with cancel culture is that people make allegations that aren't true. Oh. Really? And it's okay if you make it- if I say Oompaville, your, your fucking say. mustache has- Half of it is- a It's computing, he's shaking. darker than the other half. Oh my god. Anyway, he's trying to say cancel culture is, like, real and it's super intense and all the time attacking men and they need to calm down. Cancel culture is not real. I mean, I guess you could call it cancel culture if we want to label something, but all it is is you getting in trouble for your repercussions. That's like getting put down a color on the stupid, like, stoplight in kindergarten because you did something wrong. What, are you getting cancel culture by your kindergarten teacher? You're getting in trouble for doing something wrong. I don't know. I think that's so goofy. And, like, yeah, if he were to come forward and explain his allegations and people still angry at him and he was actually innocent, then it it would be bad and then they would be in the wrong and we would recognize that the entire internet is not a hive mind it's different little sub pockets of hive minds that all operate in different ways there's still people who support too mad of course i wish i could but the thing is he's just demonized himself for being such an idiot he just won't stop being an idiot it makes me so mad man i also found this part a little silly where he, he so in my opinion here's some more text okay this is of him just being <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, there's there's the shit that makes me look crazy. Yeah, because he did. He texts her a lot. He made six burner phones to uh, keep contacting her all the time, nonstop, even though she had blocked him on every phone. So, he, regardless of if he didn't do something actually illegal, he is kind of stalking a lot. 
and to an uncomfortable degree, which makes him, if not a criminal, just really weird and uncomfortable to be around. Bro. And obviously the, the stuff that he's been accused of is extremely fucked up. It's not that bad. There's evidence is for some of it. Some of them? He's been sick. <laughs> talking about you can't just say that and not explain so of course two men has not taken this seriously it's just been an absolute mess to watch because it truly is sad it's watching the degradation of someone's mental health online in the most public way possible and of course i feel like the best way to sum up this response in one last clip because i know this has just been like a clip compilation of me reacting to it a little bit is this clip right here this is like the end of the video and it is just so bad just I would say just stay the fuck off Twitter, man. Log out a little bit. Good Log idea. Out a little bit and focus on your mental health and uh, treating people with respect and decency. He also spends most of the video kind of just talking about how he's going to get more views than anyone else and Oompaville's not as like relevant as him and like his Twitter posts get more views than Oompaville's YouTube video. It. None of it makes it better. None of it makes it better. And he is literally just digging the deepest grave I've ever seen. He's going to hit China eventually. It, it's just so sad to watch. I don't even feel like doing a song of the day. This stuff's made me sad. Go yell at Too Mad. You can blame him for this. I, this is just sucky. But anyways, that, I just wanted to touch on this because I had covered it a long time ago. It was one of the first things I ever covered starting these daily posts. This is daily post number 87. So we're shooting for 100. But thank you guys for being here. Subscribe if you are new. Stick around for the future. And as always, adios. Arrivederci. Goodbye. Good night. And... Get offline. Just walk outside sometimes. Touch some grass. It is great for you.